good. What's up? What you want? Who you looking at? I said, who the fuck are you looking at? I see you. You see me? You see what's good? I'm gonna get you. I'm just playing. I love you guys. Hey, listen. Okay. I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but this might be an observation you haven't uh, been told before, but you guys, the viewers, you guys are the prime mates of the whole nation. <laughs> What up, Primate Nation? It's your boy, Joe Van, coming back at you. And this time, I want to talk about, maybe not specifically the evil eye, but I was inspired to make this video because I saw the most recent uh, Religion for Breakfasts video on the evil eye. Dude's the goat. He is, like, equally entertaining and informative. I love him. I'm nothing close to him, but I just wanted to give, like, an anecdote or two about vision right so first off i was extremely interested to find out that there was you know before science existed there was philosophy and there was a philosophy about how sight worked way back in the day who knows how long ago five thousand years or more. Fuck you fucking numb school look up his video i'll link it but back in the day ancient greek philosophers believed in not intromission how the eye takes in sight or sight from within, uh, whatever that term translates to. Instead, they believed in extramission, which is that uh, your sight goes out. Basically, the way that sight works is the opposite of how it really works. Instead of light bouncing into our eyes and then being received into our brain, they thought that our eyes like shot fire, invisible fire beams, basically Superman lasers out at like every split second, it was doing that. And then anything it came into contact with would appear before us. Of course, this is back when there was a lot of conversations of, if the term Numenon wasn't out yet, which I don't think it was, there was at least the, uh, the man in the cave and the idea of reality not being exactly what we thought it was. This was of course just the early introduction to the idea of perspective and how we interpret the reality around us. And so, you know, just this idea of thought got me thinking. First off, that's an extremely interesting tidbit that I had never heard before, that people used to think that that's how sight worked, and basically that is the origin of the superstition of the evil eye, at least in the Mediterranean area. Of course, different cultures can have different reasons for why such a thing exists, but superstition has always been around the eyes. And that's, of course, because us human beings we're very social creatures, and it's all about locking in that gaze. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but most animals don't have the same kind of eyes that we have, the white. There are animals that have that, but whenever it's really noticeable, like in dogs, uh, we take notice of that. We think that's weird. It makes them look a little too human when they when we can see a very clear white around the eyes. Corgis are always kind of side looking, you know? It's, it's cute, sometimes it's creepy, it depends on the dog, but anyway, I digress. The eyes are very, um, a very important way of relaying information, showing love, showing anger, you know, uh, exhibiting like a threatening behavior, just eyeing someone down maliciously. There's a lot that goes into the eyes. And I, I saw something recently, uh, a tweet about something or rather having to do with people who are on the autistic spectrum are always trying to avert the gaze of someone. And I'm like, yo, I do that. I don't, I'm not trying to say anything by that. Of course you can not have autism and still just never want to look someone in the eye, but that's something I do. I'm finding it hard right now just to look at the camera lens. I always want to kind of gaze away, look at other things. It feels too confrontational. But throughout my entire life, that's always been a thing. I've always avoided staring at people. But there was this one time, I'm trying to remember what year it was. I think it was 2010. Yeah, it was. Um, I had gone on a trip during the summer break in between grade 11 and 12 to France with this thing called the Blythe Academy. But anyway, there's a group of people that I was with and I wasn't necessarily friends with them, but they were just from my high school. So at least for the first half of the trip, I hung out with these people who were very loose acquaintances. And there were three girls, three tailors. They all had the same first name. 
And this one tailor, she just really didn't like me. It wasn't a flirty thing. She genuinely just didn't want to hang out with me. And the feeling was mutual. And one time she tried this thing on me where she just stared at me for like a, a prolonged overextended period of time in an act of aggression to try to get rid of me, to make me flinch, who knows what. But for whatever reason, in that moment, I just kind of stared back and was like, yo, challenge accepted. And I just stared at her until she stopped staring at me. She kind of like scoffed and, and walked off. It was a very weird experience. And I haven't had one since where there's been someone that I'm not friends with that stared at me and I just decided to stare back. Okay. And obviously in general, I've never initiated a stare at someone before. I am the most gaze averted person you'll ever meet in your life. But either way, I just figured I'd share that fun little anecdote and ask the question now to you guys, the viewers, do you enjoy gazing into people's eyes, friends, acquaintances, um, you know, potentially new business partners, complete strangers, individuals you find annoying? Do you stare at them? Do you side eye them? Do you give the evil eye? Do you believe the evil eye is real? Are you superstitious? Do you believe that if someone gives you the evil eye and then you trip, it's because they stare at you? Let me know down below. So anyway, it's just been a fun little vid from your boy, Joe Van. And until next time, I wish you all nothing but love in your life and ask you to remember to keep on thinking. So until next time, ciao for now. Peace. Hi, John Zana here. Thank you for watching the JillVan.com. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you do, all your dreams will come true. I like ice cream. All hail Canada. Bye bye.